Hi, thanks for checking out this short and sweet piece of advice from Shifting Schools in terms of how you can use ChatGPT to save a little bit of time and energy. For me, the time that that becomes the most crucial is when we're feeling under the weather. Um, it's really difficult as an educator to not feel well and then also be responsible for coming up with plans for your cover, your substitute teacher. Or if you know that you're going to be away at a conference or uh, taking a personal day, again, having to go through that extra step of planning additional lessons, it's hard to find time for that. ChatGPT is going to help you get started with that. Again, these cover plans might not be perfect, but it's going to, I think, take about 50% of the planning and work time off of your plate so that hopefully you can get back to feeling a little bit better or enjoy that personal day or enjoy and make the most out of being away at that conference. Should we check it out? So here I am again, logged into ChatGPT, telling it that I need three substitute teacher plans for a grade nine biology class that's focused on microorganisms. And I'm letting it know that each plan needs to cover an hour, include some vocab lists. So let's see what it comes up with. So I've gone back and I've said, actually, rewrite the plans and make them more concept-based learning. And also, please include a mini quiz for each with multiple choice questions and answers. Maybe actually what I want is to uh, set up students to be able to do some of their own research. So I'm asking ChatGPT to suggest websites that could make these lessons more student-led. Let's see what it comes up with. And then finally, I'm a huge fan of podcasts, so I'm going to say ChatGPT. Can you suggest three podcast episodes? I think that's really important there. I don't just want generic podcasts. I want specific episodes that explore the concept of microorganisms. And because I am a huge podcast fan, I was really excited to see what kind of recommendations would it have? Would these be recommendations that are indeed student-friendly? And bravo, ChatGPT nailed it.